Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Greek Lover, but we have Sapodakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
France used the first clarified that this request is guaranteed independence of the Albanian minority in the region, and that's not granted they'll declare war on us. We don't have time. And we don't comply. Now it's completed the Florence Protocol. Northern Epirus is a territorial territory covered by Greece, Albania, and local independence movements. The regional powers, oh god, are activated and an order of battles formed to decide between the strategic region of the Balkans. Well, so much for training you guys. Here you go home. Wow. Second Balkan War. A conflict broke out in Bulgaria to satisfy the share of the spoils of the First Balkan War. Attacked his former allies. The Balkan League. Allied troops enough force to repulse the Bulgarian offensive and prepare for the counterattack. I would rather not get uh, copyright struck by Can Bulgaria win alone? Mm, we'll see. Can you guys help here? No. And analytical engines, nice. Industry, it's a bit ahead of time for everybody here, isn't it? Except for this one. British decide not to invest this time. Alas, we have received word that the British shall not invest into our economy this time. It is disappointing that a turn of events, though the British delegate has not ruled out future investments which bodes well for us. Okay, maybe next time. I don't like the elusibility, though. Aw, oh, crap. Consolidate new territories. Our rule over the newly acquired territories is far from absolute. As such, an integration effort for these lands into the existing administration must be undertaken. I hope these guys don't lose. That would be really quite bad for us. Can you win here? Ah, that's mountains. That's not good. The remaining joins the Balkan War. Very good. Cretan Minister Storm Parliament. Today, Cretan representatives attempted to participate in the opening session of the Greek Parliament for a violent repel by strong army and Gendarmerie forces. A Cretan member of Parliament, Michael Daskalakas from Orethmino, managed to enter the conference room and participate in the oath. He was noticed when he cheered up for the Union and even applauded by some MPs and was removed by the order of the same, same Prime Minister. Not again. Oh, god dang it. Come on, guys, do better. Well, we're at war now. War bonds? Hmm. Why not? Cavalry. We could. Okay, why not? Ottomans join the Balkan War. Russian show of force. Nice. That's pretty tough for these guys. And we're in. Very nice. Help them out. Help them out. That's good. Florence Protocol. An act of withdrawal of Greek troops from Northern Epirus and the establishment of an autonomous state. The Greek powers have unfortunately awarded Northern Epirus to the newly formed state of Albania. Though the Hellenic army will have to withdraw from the region, they can provide support for the local Greek people, allowing for them to form the autonomous republic of Northern Epirus. Yeah. Unfortunate. I know. Smash them just a bit harder. Good. Send you guys in here. I send you guys in here. I send you guys in here. Oh! Apollo Sophia. Lady Sophia, welcome to Conquerors. So, do we get Eastern Macedonia at least, and maybe Western Thrace? That'd be fantastic. Syria Sophia. Ah! At least we got Eastern Macedonia. Very nice. Well, these guys are okay. Cavalry's a bit better, but... Oopsie. There we go. And... Oh, look at this. Oh, they're actually independent. Western Thrace is completely independent. Oh, they're an Ottoman puppet. What? That's what you get for being greedy, Bulgaria. A deer now. You should have got that one. Well, then, you're not with greed, then. Oh, yeah, hand grenades. That'd be nice. Trucks, Marines. Well, we're gonna need to help hold the line as best we can. Maintenance, military, police, armored trains, artillery. All that 
the time stuff there. Early subs, early cruisers, light batteries on ships. Sure. Why not? Finalize the railway. Oh, minority management. Look at this. Oh, God. Our newly conquered territories need special support from the central government in Athens due to the vast ethnic minorities living there, such as Bulgarians, Turks, and Jews. We need to integrate these territories in order to prevent any potential unrest in the region and attempt to Hellenize it. There you go. Ah, so we just give up that little territory, which sucks for us, but you know, whatever. Northern Epirus, up by Gorgos, some Gorgos guy. Megali idea, yes. Again, society. Uh, so we have our puppet just like the Ottomans. Oh wow, Albania got actually gonna. Do they have their own focus tree? Do they actually have? Is this unique? It's slightly unique, probably, but still. Military booth. Huh. I, I don't know. Maybe. Well, these are all what we got. Maji is dead. What do we have here? Albanian Epirot to war. Liberation of Epirot allowed Albania to press nationalist claims in the region in just a few days. Hordes of locals took up arms on both sides to defend their interests. The situation is extremely tense. If we do not intervene, North Epirot could be Albanian. supposed to intervene. Oh. We need more guns. Oh boy. You're not with Crete? Yes, please. Uh, construct new forts, appoint new uh, general governors. The Northern Territories need to be reorganized and general governors appointed in order to further the integration of the administration. Yes, of course. Ah, the Commit Smith. The Cretan government has submitted to abandon their autonomy and become a region of the Kingdom of Greece, which shows the greatness and vast Greek interest in the region. Ah, yay. Oh god, what is this? Two! Oh good lord, it's eight. Oh. Don't, please don't attack. Just, just kind of hang out, man. Can we buy more guns from somebody? Ooh, America. We need a lot of guns here, man. Protocol of Corfu. The newly acquired territories are by no means secure. 
With the newly recently defeated foe is already planning their reconquest, fortifications must be erected for defense should the enemy invade. As in it historically, I think they went down this way. Oh no, maybe not. Oh god. Oh my god, how 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 far is it? I didn't even look at this stuff though. Oh my god. Purchase Cyprus. Road to Ankara. It's communist stuff there. I didn't even realize we had all that stuff there. My god. Cares don't really do much for us, but whatever. Um. Oh, we need more compliance. Then what? Oh, it becomes a core. No longer a core of the Ottoman Empire, which would be great too. Working on it, so. Because there's a couple comments asking me to go with the Byzantium um, route, but I'm not sure if we can or not. What do we got next? Protocol of Corfu. An agreement to end hostilities between Albania and Northern Epirus can be reached. If the Albanian government agrees to recognize the autonomy of Northern Epirus and respect the rights of the local Greek population, Northern Epirus will formally become part of Albania. I guess. I assume that's historical. I couldn't tell you. One way or the other. Oh, they got annexed there, huh? Prince of Terror sounds like fun. Uh, you know what, I'm going to choose them anyways, too. I still get this one to use right now. As we're trying to get more guns. Because we're completely out of guns still. And revolution. Trade embargo. Two to four divisions. A two to four. Oof. Having reform. So we've got a lot to do here. So if you want to focus on industrialization again, please go ahead because we definitely need to get through that one. But I definitely want to get through all the stuff on the right side here because we definitely need this one. Yeah. Purchase foreign warships would be a bad idea. More trucks. Partial mobilization would be bad. Fortify the border is not bad either, so. So now we gotta wait. Hey, planes. Happy 1913, everybody. Nothing bad's gonna happen this year. Next year, I'm sure nothing bad will happen too. There you go. Oh my god, look at this. Protection of new territories raised question of construction of modern fortifications. Establishing several lines of defense will ensure the security of these new regions of the nation. Well, that's the case. You know what? I'm going to do one in every single one around here. Just so we can start it, and uh, it makes it easier for us to build. And for the Brits, Austria Hungary is a pretty large nation. Let's improve relations. So we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Any more of these, please go ahead again. And this one too. Purchase from warships will help us as a seafaring nation. Econ economically and technologically support the creation of locally built ships. As such, we must rely on our stalwart allies for ships. Though someone may be relatively old, our engineers can refit them to ensure they're ready for our service in the Hellenic Ar Navy. Expand Ionian ports. Our Navy must be prepared to assist our army in the liberation of Epirus. The Hellenic ports and the Ionian Sea must be expanded in order for warships to be well supplied during the naval bombardment of Ottoman assets on the coast of Epirus. And then prepare for the Balkan conflict. 
As the ancients once said, if you want peace, prepare for war. And hell, says boys, claim his birthright under no circumstance. Will always squander such a grand opportunity. Final preparations for the Balkan War are underway already. And we will march to victory. Which will be a great thing to do. Well, this is not good. George I was assassinated. Uh, and, uh, on an afternoon walk near the white town of Thessaloniki on March 1913. The good king, George I, was shot at close range in the back by Alexander Schinas, who held ties of socialist organization. <sighs> Since he was visiting Thessaloniki without any meaningful protection force, no one could save him from the disaster. His son, Constantine I, is now king of Greece. It was meant to be crowned anyway. Uh, as the former king was planning to abdicate in favor of his son, Constantine, immediately after celebrating his golden jubilee. May he rest in peace. Well, that's not good. One more down. One down, more to go. Well, I figured that would be important to let you guys read that one since, uh, well, with him dead, that's not, uh, real good for the rest of us. We're still in a Gary Nation. Hopefully, we can get rid of that. Actually, it's really killing our military factory construction speed, but whatever. Uh, we do have a plane here, though. It's a recon plane. It's not much. A little bit of XP. King's murder, Deb. Alexander Ostinas, the heinous criminal who murdered the former king in the cold blood of shooting, has reportedly jumped to his death from the window of a gendarmerie's examining magistrate office. Despite police efforts to investigate his motives and the forces behind his murder, he had given the following answers in the media interviews. No, I assassinated the king by chance. I was walking as a dead man without knowing where I was going. Suddenly, by turning my head, I saw behind me the king with his adjutant. I slowed my pace. The king walked by me, very close to me. I let him walk by me and immediately I fired. I'm not an anarchist, but a socialist. I become a socialist when I was studying medicine in Athens. I don't know how one becomes a socialist without realizing it, slowly, one step at a time. All people that are good and educated are socialists. The philosophy towards medicine, for me, it was a socialism. Some suggest Sheenos may have committed murder to avoid, uh, committed suicide to further avoid Jedamari's examinations or a slow death from tuberculosis. Others speculate that he was thrown from the window by the Jedamari, perhaps to keep him quiet. But good riddance, nevertheless. I'm gonna make a recon plan with not enough resources. Hey, we're good on guns, though. Here. Oh. I guess the war's over. Oh, crap. We're still training, though. And we have fuel, full fuel, which is fantastic, actually. Wait, can we build more here? I was going to build up these guys with this, but it's honestly taking forever to do anyways. We're electrifying that Pieris railway as well. Losing two civvies. Hurts the construction speed. Get free infrastructure, though. Well, it's not really free, but, you know, I'd rather take it than not. It's very nice. Oh, we still have one here, too. Look at that. Fantastic. And finalize the Peloponnese railway, huh? Purchase four more ships. It's only two weeks, which is pretty good. Happy May, everybody. Go and do that one. It's fine. Good. Better cruise our whole armor and. Go and do that one, anyways, too. It's fine. We could do that. Or we could hold more talks with the Brits. So if it doesn't go well, we're going to finalize it. Oh! Wow. So it's either the Germans or the Americans. Creating a Iowa class ship in the United States. Boston Smith. Okay, interesting. Well then. So we got this one. No more armor? Sounds nice to me. Hey, cruiser holes. Nice. Good stuff. Sonar. Fire control is fine. I know I was going to research all that stuff anyway, but whatever. Torpedoes. Secondary batteries. Mm, pretty good. Not like we make anything either, but you know, I wanted it. Could I go serve in in 1913? God dang it, Britain. I hate you. The looming Bulgarian threat to the stability of the Balkans needs to be countered by a strong Greco-Serbian alliance. Let it be able to counter the pressure of the Balkans with its military force. The protocol will also include a 50-year commercial agreement, which will allow the use of Thessaloniki by the Serbian companies. The final treaty of peace, friendship and mutual protection, was signed at the Thessaloniki on the 1st of June, 1913, by the Greek ambassador to Belgrade, Ioannis Alexandropoulos, and the Serbian ambassador to Athens, Matija Boscovich. 
That is odd to last long. Nice. Prepare for the Balkan conflict. As the ancients once said, there you go. You know what? We try to be nice to them. Oh, we need more, more, than, more than two of these. Well, I gotta wait for this one to be done first, then. Honestly, we've got enough. Let's get one more shipment first. How about that? Let's get one shipment, and then we'll cancel all the rest of this. Oh, we have a royalist government. Now we have more here. Oh. Yeah, nothing that we really care about too much. I don't see nothing very interesting. So now we can do all this stuff. Partial mobilization. One early. That would honestly be worth it. Declare mobilization. The Balkan War approaches. Hellas must begin to mobilize troops on the front line. Will they have troops who can potentially overwhelm the Ottoman garrisons in the Epirus of Macedonia? The Head Eagle will rip off the Throat's Wolf. So we can wait for everything else. Political advisors. Modify debt by even more, which I don't like. You get some planes, though, which I don't mind. But let's focus more on the economy right now. So I've got a mass employment program. Which I think I read earlier, but to combat the mass economic plague that is unemployment, we can both lower certain taxes and order to increase aggregate demand. Education funding will also be boosted to help reduce structural unemployment. Subsidies will also be provided to firms in areas where high unemployment is present to allow them to take on more staff. Not bad, still, not bad. Sixty percent oh god, getting any higher is gonna be more difficult. No. Oh. Demand new IFC terms. The IFC must may, be me made to understand that it has everyone's best interest that Hellas pays its debts in full. As such, we will force through the more favorable terms of the threat of reneging. Unless a new government can be reached, or agreement, I should say, and have large debt repayments. Though we have to make further cuts in order to secure the money necessary, paying our debts back in large repayments will allow us to recover much faster, albeit with greatly hindered economic output in the short term. God, we can use another dockyard. Or nice, there you go. That's what we've been waiting for. Small refund as well. I mean, certainly it's here, but whatever. So, who likes this more? The UK. Yeah, we're going to prove relations. And we're going to do good to Paris negotiate investment talks. Just to see what it's like. Because I don't know. Three. Two. Uno. Ecuador's killing itself. Well, no, 30 days. Admin reforms? The economy ministers proposed a series of administrative reforms aimed at increasing the efficiency of all government owned industry and blocking up certain loophole private companies utilized to avoid taxation. The extra government income will prove extremely useful in the future, of course. Purchase from warships. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm completely done. I need more to go to this point. Get a police crackdown. Oh, demanding terms. IFC will not accept our demands of our debt. It's higher than 15%. Also, well, stream relations with IFC representatives. Get an event based on the amount of debt you have repaid. Huh, interesting. War is pretty good, though. There goes the KMT. Nice. Large terror payments. What's this? Oh, need more uh, command power. Look at that. Close foreign custom offices. This is relations with IFC representatives. 
I have to get offices in every major Hellenic port and taxing all imports and exports. It's an unaccept unacceptable arrangement as it undermines the government. All such taxation should be directly done by the Ministry of Economics. How much do we have? Four? That's really close to getting done there. Let's get this one done first, and I want to buy some more equipment. Prospect for resources. Oh, look at this one. Our nation is rich with resources, but we lack the expertise and the equipment to properly exploit this advantage by inviting and cooperating with certain foreign mining firms we can begin to better understand how to extract the wealth beneath our lands. A large refund. I'm okay with that. Oh, this guy, Imperial Connections, eh? Absorb the IFC. Small refund. Really trying to reduce how much debt we have. I mean, it's really taking a long time. What else do you expect when you play as, you know, good old uh, Greece? Uh, do I have better guns? Can we do that? No. Basic armored car wouldn't be bad. Uh, I mean, portrait's not bad either. Tank prototypes. Yeah, we'll do that one right now. There we go. Alright, so we need trucks and we need Artie. I love the French. Give us everything you've got. Because we got enough guns. We have an okay amount of support equipment now. Uh, we definitely want that. Subs, logistics, screens. Honestly, this one would be best, but let's have to hold on to our political power for now. I'm not sure what's good to buy first. America's gonna like us for a while, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, let's go with uh, the top one, S138 class. It's probably gonna be really garbage, but you know, you never know. We're here to try things out, and really the army is the most important thing here. The navy is important, don't get me wrong, but still. So we're done with all that. There you go. Absorb the IFC. The IFC will be subservient to the will of the Hellenic people. We cannot allow the Millennial Lenders to have such sway over nation. Measures will be taken to slowly integrate and absorb the IFC, placing it directly under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of the Economy, and allowing us to appoint our own members on the committee. It eventually will strengthen the party. The Liberal Party must become the dominant ethni ethnicity uh, entity in Hellenic political scene in order to achieve Venizelos' national vision. As such, we must endeavor to galvanize supporters and bring new members into the fold via state-funded media. Slightly more resources, or slightly more political power, I should say. Uh, that's not bad. Hey, we actually got App Production 12 Aluminum. We got more resources, period. That's awesome. People will like us more if we can sell more stuff, right? Oh. Privatize to anybody here. The Netherlands, Italy, the German Empire. Wow, we're popular. So let's see what this class ship is like from the Germans. Strengthen the party. We're here for a good party. Are we not? Stability. Ooh. Even more political power. Daily democracy support from a guy. Stability, stability. Stability and political power. Not bad. Construction speed. Research speed. I mean, that's, don't get me wrong. That's all good stuff, but we can completely ignore it for now. We need to absorb the IFC. All right, so what's the ship like? Look at this guy. Oh, it's just a freaking destroyer. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh my god, it is literally just garbage. I 
Holy shnikes. Okay, well... Oh, certainly it was an attempt, was it not? What about the Iowa class? Is that a good ship? Couldn't tell you. We gotta save some money here too, or some by money I mean political power. And look what year it is. Look what time it is. Things are gonna probably explode pretty soon. Mm. After that, economic recovery. Oh, we're talking about the massacre of Shea. A few days ago, the Turkish irregular bands looted the villages south of Menemen, causing the Greek population to flee. Greek refugees in the surrounding regions poured on the nearby Phocia on June 11th. On June 12th, the irregular bands launched their attack against Phocia itself. The attack began during the night from the three different sides and was well organized from the beginning. The armed groups broke into several dwellings and shot their inhabitants, irrespective of age and sex, while apart from the killing, several rapes also occurred. The surviving civilian population ran to the harbor and tried to escape by boat due to the general disorder. Some people were drowned while trying to swim in order to save themselves. The Ottoman authorities tried to cover up this incident, however, after two days, a French steamboat, uh, tugboat, Arrived at Smyrna and spread the news about the massacre. The crew had observed a large number of people on the promontory and sent around 700 survivors to the nearby Greek island of Lebos. The Greek authorities were rescued the remaining 6,000 inhabitants by sending boats to bring them to the island. How horrible. At long last, the Hellenic recovery is beginning to show signs of recovery. Our economy is beginning to show signs of recovery. Our bold and well-executed economic reforms have finally due to growth. A new chapter has begun for our nation and now we're able to for properly forge our path forward. That'd be nice. Finally. Nothing bad is gonna happen this year, you know? Things are looking up. We're doing well. The world's looking bright. And there goes Franz Ferdinand. <sighs> Guys. Guys. And there's mobilization. Franz Ferdinand, the steam Archduke of Austria Est, and the Crown Prince of the Austro Hungarian Empire lies dead. Oh god. As noble wife rests beside him, Franz Joseph has lost yet another heir. And due to the darn vile sons of guns out of the Serbs. A Serbian government officially denies involvement with the assassin Gavrilo Princip, blaming the black hand, although if you believe a lack of government involvement, of course. Bruh, we're trying to recover here. Can you not piss off everybody? Absorb the IFC. Oh. Pata Giltis Danglis retires after serving nearly 44 years in the army. Panda Giltis Danglis has decided to retire from this post as a general. In the First Balkan War, Danglis commanded the army in Epirus, later constituted briefly as a Third Army Corps and eventually as a Fifth Army Corps for over two years. He also became chief of staff to the Crown Prince Constantine's Army of Thessaly until November 1912, when he became a member of the Greek delegation in the London Peace Conference. Currently, he decided to turn to politics and join the Liberal Party of uh, Venizelos as an MP. Farewell. We have become a great war. Oh, God. The Hellenic government is under circumstances that the neighboring countries are heavily related to any faction of war participants. Even the state, there are some opinions to join the conflict that could be happening in a possibly a few weeks. But King Constantinos I is not willing to join any war, uh, but want to keep neutral with slightly German sided. He thinks it's not a problem. Well, let me tell you what. We're going to have a giant breaking problem here. Hey, we have enough artillery. Well, we had almost had enough artillery here. I need more artillery. Um, I think they got artillery. I want all of it. You're not going to need artillery soon. Just saying. You're not going to need it. Uh, sure. Nah, they won't need artillery. Things are not Oh, the guy's gone. He's a royalist. I hate how everyone's politically connected. Nothing bad's going to... Oh, and Serbia's refused. Dear God, what have we done? Oh, well, may have God have mercy on our soul. The war to end all wars. Well, good luck with that, everybody. Uh, we're just going to hang out here and have a good old time. I might actually send some volunteers to these guys. Oh, we can send a tache. Oh, we can't send volunteers. We'll send a tache, or result in higher military cooperation, give us benefits in developing our strength. Or we can send one of these guys. Hmm. Multi ethnic army. Oof. Well, who's gonna send? Who's gonna have the most conflict here? It could be the Germans because they're on two sides. But we don't really want. We want the Serbs to do well and just help them out slightly. So just in case the Serbs say no, because don't get me wrong, the Bulgarians will go to war with the Serbs, and I will go to war with Bulgaria to get our own territory back. Um, well, 
Let's rapidly increase what we get here. I'd love to send volunteers, don't get me wrong. Stream Invasion Belgium. God dang it, guys. We were at peace for a long time. Look at what you did. Is this really what you want? Obviously. It's a great error reduction. Led by order. Max planning factor versus led by task. Planning speed. Bus man max planning factor. Eh, whatever. Watch out, Luxembourg is joined. Oh, what's this? Occupy Northern Epirus. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Things happened. Come on, just keep trying to assault the Serbs. I want that army XP. Goib and Breslau. Huh. Oh, hello, Italians. Oh. So we have 5%. If we wait and do the 5% one, because this one only lower by 2%. Well, let's wait until the end of September to see if we get the, the larger lo loan, a large refund. Or technically, does it need to be less than 6%? It's below 1%. Oh, so I have to do both technically, so let's just go and do that one anyways, it's fine. Well, negotiate with the Entente, I guess. Hellas is interested in ultimately aligned with those of the Entente. Venizelos is confident in the British Alliance's ability to break. The German eagle, thrice an Anatolia will await our liberation. If France and Britain agree to our territorial claims and demands, we should join the Great War on their side. Ah, now we're feeling okay. Well, okay-ish. Former focus culture. I don't know which one's historical balance approach. Focus on heavy industrialization. Because you get better consumer goods with this one, and 5% more fact military factory construction speed. Uh, oh, and 5% more political power. But this one, you lose stability. But you get a civvy and a milli, which are very important. The rape of Belgium, a lot. Um, you get a military factory, which is fantastic. Expand metallurgic industries, though we're at cooperation with foreign mining firms. We have successfully acquired the expertise to proceed with expansion of our metallurgic industries. Hell else will soon be able to harness the full power of its untapped natural resources. And now we need a large refund, so we gotta continue waiting. Hey look, man, if they wanna kill each other, that's fine with us. Oh! Oh, this is that's what I thought. Uh, an Iowa class ship was actually a chunky good god, it's not good. Battleship and a heavy cruiser. So we need a large refund now. I wouldn't mind getting a little more political power first, though. Uh, reform the status of property. The status of property must be judicially defended. By outlining this reform in the Constitution, we will ensure that our support. Uh, uh, the landowners. That being said, some moderate concessions will be made to the landless farmers regardless of the land they cultivate. Devastating earthquake in Thebes. Or Thebes? Is it Thebes? Thebes? Something like that? Not sure. We may need this one too. On the 18th of October, eight, uh, 1914, a great part of the city of Thebes was destroyed by a succession of violent shocks. At least 100 people were known to have been killed, and it's feared that the death list will be reached 600. Additional damage was done to the village of Carapelli and Perol near Thebes, where dis 20 district shocks were reported, or distinct shocks. Thebes was one of the capitals of the ancient world, and many of its structures were of great historical value. Oh god. Well, can we buy some trucks now? Hey, trucks. I want all of them. Thanks, America. I love you. Thanks. And then we're going to need even more political power here, too. God dang it. There you go. Absorb them. Frag grenades. Now they're like good old explosives. I'm not going to sell to both sides of the conflict. 
Oh, that's your radar. And the Ottomans are now going to war with the Russians. But are we still getting some good old army XP? We are. Fantastic. Oh, those goes relatively struggle. Oh. Well, Belgium's dead. I don't think Germany actually took out all of Belgium. I don't think they got all the way to the English Channel. I don't think they took over Bruges and Ghent. Uh, Germans are, it's a mixed bag. They're actually pushing, actually, no, they're doing pretty well. They lost a tiny sliver of, oh, did they lose Prussia? No. Oh, yeah, they did, maybe, a tiny bit. But they're actually pushing into Russia pretty well. And, huh. Interesting. Well then. Labor legislation. Uh, the Anatolian territorial concessions. The coastal city of Smyrna has been one of the largest ports in the Mediterranean and is home to almost 200,000 Greeks. While it will be difficult to convince the Entente to acknowledge the claims of Prussia and Italia, the city of Smyrna and the general area around it should be relatively easy to sell to the French and British, of course. Oh, reforms. Oh, we can actually have more reforms. I like this. Oh, do this one first. It's only 10. It's easy. Cheap. I love it. War propaganda? We're good. Um, we need to save our political power, too. I want to buy a new ship. Uh, Smith class, Boston class, Iowa class. Those are some thick ships, son. S90 classes. I mean, hopefully we can do these later on. Maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah, how will get a lot of naval XP from these guys, too. Dervish state. Oh. Remember, you hate the Ottomans. Oh, do they lose the town? No, they do not. Yeah, yeah, working on air, air adoption when we have no air stuff. Period. Yeah. And then claim Eastern Thrace. Eastern Thrace was a vital part of the Second Hellenic Civilization, serving as the heartland of Eastern Roman Empire. Uh, though it is highly unlikely that the Entente will allow us to claim Constantinople, they may be willing to support our claims to the rest of Eastern uh, Thrace. Yes, that'd be good. Oh, I'm out of tea. I had a cup of white tea here. That is all gone. Sad. Very sad. Happy 1915, everybody. New year, new us. Top of the year, is, everyone doesn't just keep killing each other. Oh. Consumer goods factors, a negative 1%. Tsar of Bulgaria issues diplomatic protest. Our attaches will be sent where we please. Don't care. Assist Anton Avis. But by providing the Anton with information on the naval movements of the Central Powers and allowing their ships to... Uh, Oh god. Da covertly in our bases will greatly improve our diplomatic standing with the fr French and British. Serbia ally faces invasion by the Bulgarians. Our current situation with the king proves that we are sadly unable to uh, come to their aid, as we would have wanted. We'll have to find a different way to aid them then. Bruh. Yeah, there's really not much we can do about that. Surrounded on all sides. Serbia. Oh, God. Serbia's. Oh, my God. Well. Crap. Oh, God. They're breaking through already. Can we send you an attaché? Oh, but I gotta save the political power though. No. Hey, we got rid of it though. At least that's nice. Good farming cooperatives. Shh, don't tell people what we're doing. That's really not fair and good. Oh well. Of course, new elections. Oh, uh, well. Might have to wait. We're going to have the national schism first. The greatest enemy of Hellas has always been itself. The front lines have been drawn, the royalists and liberals on opposite sides. Uh, this will likely prove to be the biggest internal crisis Hellas has faced in the 20th century. May the kingdom choose its path wisely? Hopefully. Um, the raising crisis of 1890 is painfully remembered by many, with some of its effects still being present in the sector of the Hellenic army, or economy. We'll remedy this by implementing certain regulations aimed at preventing overproduction, and we're going to focus on heavy industrialization. Because I would like a research slot. Heavy industry is the core pillar of the Greek power's economic might. 
We cannot allow ourselves to be confined to the agrarianism alone. This time, I will take great care in accruing too much debt during the industrialization process, of course, too. And uh, I guess we'll do appoint new party members. With the rise of prominence in Hellenic politics, the liberal parties receive proposals from various academics seeking to become full members of a new party. By expanding party membership, we'll broaden our ideological outlook and reinforce the voter base. But I think we'll end it there. Just because we're just kind of waiting for things to happen. Things are exploding around us, but that's pretty normal. Um, Serbia has capitulated, unfortunately, which is very, very bad for us. But, hey, we'll see what happens in the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a fat like arena. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you tomorrow, when we might actually get involved in the Great War. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.